you know, the team is going to Las Vegas. You advance in this tournament. So just that was a goal, uh, at least to this point. So what, what does that mean to get that done tonight? Obviously, uh, tonight was a, you know, huge step. You know, we wanted to uh, get to Vegas. But, you know, when we get to Vegas, we got to take care of business. We got two games to win there. Um, you know, celebrate tonight. I thought we, we played an outstanding game. Uh, give credit to the Knicks that, you know, they were tough, tough-minded group, uh, well-coached group. But I thought, you know, tonight our our team was the better team. And um, I thought our bench was terrific. I thought the crowd was terrific. And, and you know, I had all the, uh, <clears throat> you know, makings of a playoff, you know, atmosphere of a playoff game. So, but, you know, keep everything, uh, you know, in perspective. We, we, uh, we're going out to Vegas on a business trip. And we were facing a, a very tough team in Indiana. They just beat another tough team in Boston. So uh, we expect their best. But, uh, you know, when we're at our best, uh, I, love, I love our chances. Um, third quarter was key. You held them to 24 points. But there was that 18-6 run that created that separation. Um, just what, what clicked defensively there to, to limit New York? You know, I think um, just coming out that first five minutes was uh, crucial. Um, you know, we, they're a very good team. And I think, that, you know, at halftime, one of the emphasis was uh, just defending without fouling and just moving our feet, uh, protecting the three-point line, let Brooke be Brooke. And uh, we were able to do that uh, to start the half, and we kind of didn't look back after, after that. Sometimes I know it's as, just as simple as the ball goes in, but what did you see from your team from the three-point line that, you know, created those good looks and you guys know well we just trust the pass and we we got players that are extremely unselfish they're team first individuals you know everyone's playing to their strength you know the ball was hopping our you know our assist total I I believe was uh 32 assists again which is outstanding it just shows that that they trust each other out there and you know you get in the paint against uh, New York you got to be strong with you got to make the right plays and I thought we did that tonight uh, just what do you think of Giannis being able to get into the paint early and then use all that attention to kick out for his teammates? Well, Giannis is a winner. You know, he's he's been in these situations before. Um, he's a leader. Um, you know, he's another extension of the coaching staff on the floor, directing traffic and making plays. I mean, that's what the great ones do. You know, they they are able to to make plays. And you know, he was uh, he was fantastic tonight. And I thought. Um, you know, our entire team, you know, really uh, rose to the challenge. You know, it was a great challenge for us playing at home and playing a, up against a very physical team. But I thought we executed a game plan well and put us in a position to, to go to Vegas, and that's what it's all about. I know we'll obviously look at the 6 of 10 from the three-point line from the league, but what do you think of the job he did defensively on Jalen Brunson? You know, he did a terrific job. You know, Jalen Brunson is one of the toughest guards to guard because he's so crafty. Um, you know, he he knows how to draw fouls. He knows, knows how to maneuver and use his body. And, um, you know, he can shoot the three. He has the float game. He, he has all the nuances, you know, um, the fakes and the keeps and the keeping you off balance. So I thought Bill, uh, Bees did a, a fantastic uh, a job on him tonight. Griff, you've acknowledged just kind of some of the up and downs you guys have been going through this season, trying to, you know, learn each other and such. But just the way you guys are playing overall, uh, you know, I think it's sort of eight of the last nine or whatever that you have won, put together. Kind of how do you feel um, about your team kind of entering the stretch and, and what kind of gives you confidence or optimism just about the way you guys are playing? No, I just think it's just our approach. Uh, every day is this is opportunity to get better. Uh, wins or, or losses, we, we look at the film. The, the player has been so res- uh, receptive to coaching. Um, and I, I've been, you know, uh, equally open to, you know, it's a two-way street. You know, we got a lot of leaders on this team, um, a lot of great input, and, and we it's a collaboration, not just with me and the players, but have a phenomenal, outstanding relationship with uh, John and his, his staff. And it's, it's not just one person. You know, we, we, we're in it together. Um, and so when you have high character people and, and we're all working for a common goal and you have talented, you know, people on the floor, you know, good things happen. What does a team, excuse me, what does a win like this say to you about your team? And how much do you think this is going to help your momentum even after Vegas? Well, I think, you know, the purpose of the, uh, you know, in-season uh, tournament is to um, – 
put ourselves in situations like this and see how we respond. And I thought we responded the right way. Um, I thought we we defended when we needed to defend. You know, early the first half was back and forth. You know, it's like heavyweight match, and uh, they made some tough shots, but we 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 stuck with it uh, for 48 minutes, and you know we. We did it together. I thought our bench again. I um, also want to say Brooke is phenomenal. You know, like we talk about Dame a lot, rightly so. We talk about Giannis. Uh, I thought Bees was terrific um, defensively. But Brooke, man, he's, you know, he's the heart and soul of our defense. He does a lot of things that doesn't show up in the box score. And sometimes it does. But, um, you know, he's invaluable uh, to our team on both sides of the ball. Uh, then having Chris out there with his leadership. So, you know, this is all, you know, these games like this, uh, and, I, and I've said this before, certain games that we've had uh, where we had to really fight and find ways to win, it does b uh, build character. And, you know, I, lo I love how, you know, our fourth quarters are our are, are best quarters. And, and that's what you what you need, you know, to, to, to win big games. You know, you got to be able to play a com complete game. And I thought we did that tonight. Hey, Coach, it was a back-and-forth game early, but just what did you think of AJ's timely threes early on there? He started three for three, and, and how important those were? Yeah, it was clutch. You know, it's, uh, you know, I don't want to forget about him as well. I thought he gave us some um, crucial minutes, um, stretch the floor. You know, nothing phases him. You know, he's, um, it's tough to sit there all season and, and not know when your minutes are – coming and and but you can be called on any time and I think AJ has embraced this role and um, I felt that he was going to get some some good looks uh, tonight because of all the attention that Giannis commands and um, I thought you know he seized the moment and he he helped us tremendously tonight he's an extremely hard worker behind the scenes he's the first in the gym last to leave I was in the gym this morning, and we had optional shoot around, and he's there for an hour putting up shots. So, man, you're doing the right things every day, and it's it's as a coach, you know, it's um, it's rewarding for me to see players who put it, you know, make those sacrifices, to get rewarded in, in a situation like this. And um, you know, he was he was uh, awesome tonight. Obviously, a win like this can help build confidence, but how do you as a head coach make sure that the team doesn't start leaning toward getting cocky? Well, we, you know, we, we have uh, great veteran leadership here. Uh, these guys been through battles. So, you know, after the game, Giannis was the first one to talk about, you know, our mindset going into Vegas. Obviously, we know it's a business trip. Um, we still have to, to uh, win two games, but the first you got to win – uh, against a very good Indiana team. Um, so it's important that you just focus on what's right in front of you. Um, we'll, we'll get to uh, Vegas tonight. Tomorrow we have, you know, film and maybe a short walkthrough. But we know that we're facing a very confident team in Indiana that plays a fast style. Um, they get the ball up and down the floor. They got multiple ball handlers, guys who can get in the paint. And, uh, they got some players that can really knock it down from the three-point line. So, you know, it's going to be another challenge for us, and um, we'll be prepared for them. Thank you. Coach. Thank you.